This is Twit. You're going to show us some mobile VPN solutions, I'm right, going to show you some mobile VPN stuff. So, you know, everyone is a bit on edge about security now, right? Because Absolutely. we're worried about being spied on. We're worrying about what kind of data is being collected. And we know that there are VPN solutions for computers and for desktops. They work quite well. But VPN solutions for mobile devices, phones and tablets, haven't always been the easiest to configure. So what I'd like to do is I'd like to show you a couple of different ways you can secure your data, make sure that it's it's okay, make sure that it's it's you know running well, that mm -hmm. that no one is, is looking at what you're doing. What I'd like to do first is show you what it looks like if someone is tapping your machine. So I've got a Android phone right here that's connected to the setup. If Brian will look at our overhead setup, we're duplicating the internet. We've essentially made our own internet right now using uh, this DDWRT router, using this switch, using this really cool, uh, super advanced Xerus uh, wireless AP. Is it heavy? I hear the internet's really light. Th yeah, it's because yes, it's wireless. It's, you know? Exactly. Internet is wireless. The IT crowd, IT crowd, geek reference. And this tap. This tap is what's going to let me peek in on whatever's going through this phone to the internet. So if Brian will now show my, uh, my capture screen here, what you'll see is this is Wireshark showing you the data that's running through that network. So if I start up a browser, there you go. You start to see data running through. So if I go to CNN, these are my DNS queries. So of course I can see, oh, look, there's CNN, here's money.cnn, there's an ad click. It, again, it's showing me all the different DNS queries that's running through here, including iTunes, Apple, Android, a lot of CNN links, and double click. Again, we don't really want that because someone who's just tapped into our, our wireless or tapped into our ISP will be able to find at minimum where we're going, not, not to mention that they also might be able to find the payload. Right, you don't want any of that information being compromised, so what should we do? So here's what we're going to do. We are going to use a VPN for the mobile. VPN is virtual private mm -hmm. network. The easiest way to do it is to use a VPN service. Now here at the network we have as an advertiser ProXPN. I actually used them before they became an advertiser on Twit, which is why I was excited that they joined. They have an app and it's, it's really, really simple. This is what the app looks like. If you'll go back to my uh, product page, it's downloaded onto my Android phone and I just start it up. If you know how to put in a username and a password, that's that's pretty much well, all. Slow you down, do. college boy. I know. A I username right? and password. Okay. Username right. and password, and I go ahead and click connect, and it's going to say yes, I trust uh, the application. And up in the upper corner here, you'll see, yes, now we're protected. So uh, ProXPN is now saying uh, we're good, and as soon as it turns green, yes. See this little key. Uh, okay. There's a little key. That teeny tiny key tells me. Okay. Now all my traffic is being encrypted.